Hi, welcome to Power and Motion YouTube channel. Today, this video, I want to show you how to travel around the world with your folding bike. I have been Google searching uh, online to find out material and talk to my supplier, but instead of getting those information from Google search, I rather to find someone that actually had traveled around the world with the folding bike. Uh, without further delay, I would like to introduce you to Paul, uh, Pauline, who is our customer, who actually had purchased the folding bike, uh, turn folding bike, and travel around the world. Testing one, two, three, check, check, check. Testing one, two, three, yep. All right, so we'll start. So I understand you bought a folding bike and uh, travel bag and you've been traveled different area. Yes. So how many times have you traveled with the bike? How many places? Well, we, we bought those bikes a year ago. And we've been all over Calgary, of course, but we've been to New York. Okay. We've been to Prince Edward County area in Ontario. Yeah. And then we flew down to Houston and okay. went to Galveston from there and Vancouver. And then we took them to Florida, cycled in the Orlando area, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood Beach, and down the Florida Keys. We're trying different scenarios to find out what works best for the luggage that we want to take, getting those bikes onto the plane, okay. the best way to do it that's the most cost efficient too. Okay. We've tried a scenario where we're completely self-efficient so we can travel if we want without even taking a, a cab. We okay. can use public transportation and just have everything right there with us. When we left Vancouver, we had everything. We had the bike, the travois, everything was packed onto the travois that we had with us. And we went on the public transportation to the airport. On the first trip, what we did is we got all the clothes that we wanted to take and we packed them into our knapsacks and what we could put into the burley. And then we put the other clothes into Ziploc bags. Okay. And then we took duct tape and taped those bags around the bikes. Okay. So, so we brought the weight up to 50 pounds with these bags of yeah. clothes. Right. So this 50 pounds is really the key thing. Generally, uh, all airlines will allow you to take a luggage, they call it the 62 linear inches, which is length, width, plus the height and it has to be under 50 pounds. If you're over 50 pounds, you may have to pay additional, pay extra, maybe, yeah. maybe $100 or something along yeah. that line. Well, you know, one of those flights, we did have to pay additional. I think okay. maybe even coming home from Toronto. Yeah. But the way we look at it is to have those bikes there and that freedom, uh -huh. it, it's worth every cent if you have to pay a little bit extra. Yeah. It, it, like, and our, our fold-up bikes are perfect for us because we've tried renting bikes. Okay. And it, it's expensive. The bikes are heavy and cumbersome and awkward for us. We love our little fold-up bikes. We could just step right onto them. We, okay. we feel safe. Yeah. You know, if you rented a bike for two or three hours, you'd probably pay what you would have paid to get the bike on the plane. Yeah. So we have the bikes that were comfortable with us okay. all the time. So tell me, what are the most fun things that you travel with the folding bike? Well, we enjoy the parks in particular. We visited many large parks. You can certainly cover a large territory. So when people hear we've gone to New York on bikes, they thought we were crazy, but uh, it was great. You know, at times we would take the bikes down into the subway and, and go to another area of the city okay. if, if we yeah. wanted to, yes. You can get your bikes on the subway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a great way to see a city. We're going to show you one item at a time. So um, basically this is one of the equipment that you use to travel around the world. Yes. It's, uh, it's the and, and all over Calgary too. Because okay. you can actually put uh, a case of beer on that <laughs> and your okay, groceries on top of it. Right. Yeah, or you can put a case of wine on it and your groceries on top of it. Right. I'll, show, I'll show you what okay. we do. First of all, it, it pulls so, so nicely behind your bike. It just hooks on like so easily. This travel folds up and goes in the bag. This folds up like this. And the wheels come off like this, like it's almost too easy. Here, Warren, you hold that. We plan for some of the things to be in this bag. So this is our carry-on, okay. along with our knapsacks. Okay. After we leave security, yeah. we undo um, it, undo it yeah. and it becomes a wonderful pull thing to pull right. through the airport. Yeah. And I'll tell you, we really get some stairs. 
But when, once, you've, once you've put this together like this again, and put the bag on there, then, like the bag sits on here, yes. and fits onto these things, right. and then our knapsack sit on top of that, and, and then we can pull it through the airport. Yeah, so the bike folds up so nicely and goes in the bike bag. And like I said, for that first trip that we did to New York City, we had the clothes all okay. attached with duct tape. Okay. But uh, we, we got to thinking, now what else can we do? And we got this air mattress. We just happened to have these air mattresses. Okay. And so we just put them around the bike. Okay, so you just basically use it to protect the bike. That's, That's right. right. Almost like a blanket. Yeah, right? yeah, it just wraps around and our brother-in-law actually uses... So we're just going to show you actually we can close this back. Yep, sure. Our brother-in-law uses sheet metal in here. And, and then we just open it up and put stuff in and bring it up to 50 pounds. Okay. When your bikes are put in the luggage, they're put in a depressurized luggage compartment. And so we deflate our tires so they don't explode on you or expand okay. too much. The bikes aren't particularly heavy and there are several handles on the bag that allow you to to lift the bag and you get used to it. You get a, your own right. personal way to by which you can uh, lift the bag. We, we found that we never had to lift or carry the bags very far. Okay. Yeah. Like if, we, if, if you're going a long distance, yeah. you pack everything up into the travois like yeah. I described and, and move it that way right. so, so that you're not carrying anything. Yeah. Yes. If we can get these bikes to the destination, we can just explore as much as we want. People our age, we grew up on bikes. We rode them all the time. So, you know, it's almost like a return to our childhood in our in our retirement years here. Okay. That's one of the big reasons we've always enjoyed riding bikes. It's a great way to see a city. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's going to be more video coming up. So watch out for our YouTube uh, video channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.